Well, you know that one championship has very different rules uh, from weight division perspective than the UFC. What happened yeah. last night in the flyweight world title fight was that they actually fought at what would be considered bantamweight in the UFC. They fought at 135. Uh, so one championship has a philosophy about not uh, um, requiring their fighters to undergo such significant and hectic weight cuts. Mm. I don't know the full story, in but fact, that's it's, pretty it's interesting. Legislated. It's in their policies. Um, they, they will check uh, when, when they're doing testing throughout the, the, throughout the camps and when you're doing your... Um, your weigh-ins, they'll actually check the the volume of water in your body, make sure making sure that you're not um, dehydrated for the weigh-ins. They don't do that so, in the UFC, right? No, no, they don't. Could do not give yeah. a fuck. So they, 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 you know, <laughs> one championship have got it right. They 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 got a lot more weight divisions, as far as I know. They they they've got more weight divisions in the sure. UFC. I think I'm they do. Sure. Um, and yeah, they 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 keep track of their fighters. Um, the hydration throughout that, mm. that weight cuts process. So they really do care about their fighters more than the US, so, in my opinion. So, I mean, you've got someone passing out on, on, the, on the actual scales at the way. And when, when do you decide, okay, we need to make a change to something like one championship who's got it right. And you don't see that happening. They won't because it would directly impact their, their uh, income. The more weight divisions you've got, the less um, iconic the winners of those divisions are. Because if you have 10 champions, it's less impactful than three champions. Hey, and, and you know, this can be, this, there's, there's, there's proof of concept here. Look at boxing. Mm. Other than potentially the heavyweight division, with the amount of champions, world <laughs> champions that boxing has, first of all, in the amount of weight divisions, which is also mm. way more than MMA. Second of all, with, the different sanctioning bodies and promotions, you have way more champions in each weight division and way more weight divisions. It does. It really does. To Sean's point, the UFC have got that right from a promotional perspective and a, and a brand building and marketing perspective. They've got that right because yeah. anyone who watches UFC will, will have a much better chance of rattling off all the names of every mm. single champion of all the different weight divisions than in boxing. Mm. Yeah. but I mean, you've, at, you've done at, you've done that at the cost of your fighters yeah but they don't care they don't care about the fighters fighters come and go the, the top champions they take care of i mean look look at the way they market mm. the, these these title fights look at the way they market the fights with the, with the big names it's all about the money they don't care about the fighters well-being if you make it to the top they'll take good care of you dana could hear you say that <laughs> i don't think he'd give a shit i don't think he listens to our podcast mate <laughs> da dana if you are listening come on the show mate dana. <laughs> come, come on the show <laughs> Bro. Yeah. that's fucking illegal 